Hey there friends and welcome back to another video. Multiverses just released today, so um, we're going to be going over all of the cosmetics available in the game. Now, real quick before we get started, if you enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe, etc. Now, they do a few things differently in this game. So when you look at your, for example, variants, it has the ones that you can obtain via the store listed, but any that you unlock in different means aren't listed in this spot. So first off, we're going to do the ones that are listed here and available in the store. Starting off with Arya, we have her normal outfit, ugly sweater, and Tuniverse. The Tuniverse thing is basically something all of the characters have now, and it is just a cell shaded skin, essentially, as you can see with Banana Guard. There's also her default emote, Agent Smith. Default outfit, Matrix Code, Agent Smith. Then we have Banana Guard. His default emote is just that. After you complete the training, every day you log in, you get a reward, including Banana Guard. And on the seventh day, you will get the female Banana Guard. Now, one new variant that was added, like, in the middle of the day yesterday, is the Matrix Code Banana Guard. And to get this, you needed to watch the official Multiverses live stream, and they put codes in the chat, and essentially you just had to redeem it within five minutes. There was a lot of issues with the codes. Um, I was lucky enough to get it to work. Yeah, I don't know if this will be available in another way in the future, but right now that was the only way to get this. And then we have Batman, default outfit, animated series outfit, samurai outfit, night to remember outfit, ugly sweater outfit, Gotham Guardian outfit, Tuniverse outfit. And his default emo is his little crossing of the arms. Next is Black Adam. His default outfit, Man in Black outfit, which is obviously based off of the film. The comic classic Black Adam, which looks really nice. And the Heart of Condot Black Adam. And his default emo. Next is Bugs Bunny with his default outfit. Brunhilde Bugs outfit. Hollywood Bugs outfit. Maestro Bugs outfit. This is it, Bugs outfit, Toon Squad 96 outfit, Toon Squad new outfit, and his Tooniverse outfit. Matrix code Bugs, Doodles Doc emote for Bugs Bunny. This is one skin that is only shown in the like Rift mode, and that is the Bugs Bunny Clown Squad skin. You currently can't get this. I'm assuming it'll be in the shop like the other Clown Squad skins. It actually seems, I just realized, Black Adam doesn't have the Tuniverse outfit. Every other character I looked at does have that outfit though, so that's really interesting. And his default emote, here's his tap dance emote. Next is Finn from Adventure Time. His default outfit, his snowsuit outfit, which you do get this if you played in the beta, you basically auto unlock this. I don't know if it'll be available in other ways though. Then we have Fern. Ugly Sweater Finn, Pajama Finn, and Tuniverse Finn. And his emote, you get the Chest Pound emote for Finn. Next is Garnet, her default outfit, Reunited outfit, First Fusion outfit, Flashback outfit, True Kind of Love, Clown Squad, and Tuniverse. And her emote, Garnet actually has two more, Mad Cause You're Single, and Tiny Car which is uh, pretty comical. Next is Gizmo, his default outfit, combat skin, Mary Mogwai skin, Tuniverse skin, which looks really good, his emote. Next is Harley, her default beach bash, mad love, love rave, Task Force X, which is obviously based off of the film, the Clown Squad Harley, and Tooniverse Harley. And here is her email. Next is the Iron Giant. Here's his default outfit, which is from the end of his film. His classic outfit without the uh, Superman S. The Frankenstein skin, Beach Giant, and Tooniverse. And his email. Next is Jake. His default, his cake skin, Calico Cake. Jake the Star Child, Ugly Sweater, and Tuniverse. His emote. Yeah, I think I gotta do a wiggle dance. The Muddy Jake outfit for Jake. 
which is slightly disturbing. Matrix code Jake. And here is Jason, his default outfit and his Tuniverse skin, which looks really good. His emo is just that. The Matrix code Jason Voorhees outfit for Jason, which looks so good, I just have to say. The Matrix outfits, which we're going to go over multiple of these, look so freaking good. Uber Jason, which is Jason X from the Jason X film. The Moonwalk emote for Jason, which I'd say that that's pretty good. Next is LeBron James, which is such a weird thing to say. His default outfit, his I'm freaking Robin outfit, Sheriff LeBron outfit, and Tuniverse outfit. Of course, all of these are based off of the Space Jam movie, the new one. And here is his emote. And here is his other emote. Showtime. The Amazon defense for LeBron. Next is Marvin the Martian, his default skin, Commander X2, Galactic Romance, Toon Squad 96 Marvin, and new Toon Squad. And here is his emote, and his other emote is the flag. Next is Morty, here's his default outfit, his Evil Morty outfit, and President Morty outfit. I think that there's actually a glitch right now because I was looking at these like 20 minutes ago and there was a Tuniverse outfit for Morty. So some of these might be partially glitched right now. Um, the game did just release, so there's probably some minor issues with the game. But I mean, it looked, it's the Tuniverse skin. It looks pretty much the same as all of the other ones. It's just the default outfit with some effects on top of it. Next is his emote. There you go. Then we have Rain Dog, who has so many variants. First off, his normal one, his Battle Rain Dog, Golden Rain Dog, Mummy Rain Dog, Key Time Rain Dog, Jeff Rain Dog, Guardian Rain Dog, Holiday Rain Dog, and Tuniverse Rain Dog. And his emote, little tippy tap, and tail wag. Then we have the Tycoon Rain Dog outfit. Next is Rick, and here's his default outfit, and SEAL Team Rick. It seems like some of the Tuniverse outfits definitely are glitched right now. Here is his default emote. I hadn't seen that before, so I was a little surprised just now when this just started playing. Next is Shaggy. First off is his default Uncle Shagworthy, Dimension of Love Shaggy, Kung Fu to Shaggy, Showdown Shaggy, Ultra Warrior Shaggy, and Tuniverse Shaggy. And his singular taunt, um, here's Steven's stuff, his default outfit, Tiger Millionaire outfit, and Coach outfit. And his emote, and his alternate emote, the Wedding Steven outfit for Steven. Next is Stripe, his default outfit, Combat Stripe, and Tuniverse Stripe, and his emote, the Biker Stripe. Next is Superman, his default outfit, Black Lantern skin, which looks so good. One Million Superman, Love Struck, Ugly Sweater, Gotham Guardian, Tuniverse, and his emote, How about you? the Matrix Code Superman, Summer Break Superman. Next is Taz. Here's his default outfit look, his Toon Squad 96 look, his Toon Squad classic look, and Beachcomber look. Now, his Tooniverse outfit's a bit different than the others because it actually changes his eyes to yellow, which I think is a really nice detail. And it just looks really good, I think, because of that. Um, it just gives it some more color. I don't know. It looks good. And his emote, Tasmanian She-Devil for Tasmanian Devil. Next is Joker, one of our new characters. His default outfit, the Batman Who Laughs outfit, the Killing Joke outfit, which I'm shocked that they actually call it the Killing Joke outfit. The Dark Prince Charming, Clown Squad Joker, and Tooniverse Joker. And his default emote. Next is Tom and Jerry. The default outfits, Baker Street, 
which is obviously uh, Sherlock Holmes, Vampire Tom and Jerry, Detectives Tom and Jerry, separate from uh, Baker Street Tom and Jerry, the Pirates outfits, and the Tooniverse outfits. And their emote is just them uh, shaking hands. Next is Velma, her default outfit, Witch outfit, the Luau outfit, Astronaut outfit, Ugly sweater outfit, Valentine Neon outfit, and the Tooniverse outfit. And her emote, the Intrepid Velma outfit, Clown Squad Velma, the reading emote for Velma, and Wonder Woman, her default outfit, her Black Lantern outfit, which very good looking once again, Aphrodite's Blessing outfit, and Bloodline's Wonder Woman outfit, which looks really good. All of the skins in this game look really good. Her default emote is just her posing, and her other one is her lifting weights. Matrix Code Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman with a Batman shirt, Gotham Guardian, Beach Wonder Woman outfit, and there's all of the stickers which I'm just going to show right now. Anyways, that is everything that is currently available. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe. I'll do more like this in the future. I have more multiverses stuff upcoming, so look forward to that. Anyways, I'll see you guys all next time.